Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. This is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in learning about, go ahead and stick around. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over something a little bit different again. I'm gonna be talking about um, pre-made quotes and sayings that you can find in Canva in the elements section. So these are things that you don't have to necessarily make your own. You can just find them and then change them, you know, obviously add your own flair, do whatever you want with them, and then you are able to use them. And so I'm gonna show you this design right here that I made. It says, stay inspired and never stop creating. Um, and what I did when I made this was I just took a pre-made quote, I threw a, um, I threw a little mask over it. That's where I got the sparkles. So a clipping mask, and I'll show you how I did that. And then I just threw in a couple little diamonds here. So um, really easy to do, only took me a few seconds, but this is an original design now. Nobody's gonna have one just like this. But I do wanna show you kind of what your options are. So I wanted to start by showing you some examples of some of the different kinds of quotes that I found in the, um, in the elements section of Canva. So you can see right here, these are all kind of pre-made design quotes that you can use. So you can use any of these and some of them are kind of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, make it a little bit bigger for you to see. So starting up here, you know, here's a Christmas one that you can use, sarcastic, bossy. There's ones that use some graphics, some that are just text, um, just some really different styles. That's the one I showed you earlier. And so you can see, you can use any of these pre-made ones and then throw a clipping mask on it, use photo effects on it, change the colors, add some uh, additional graphics or additional lines to it. You can use it in a larger design as part of a design. So there's a lot of cool ways you can do this. If you wanna find some of these, go ahead and you'll go to your elements section. And up here you can type quotes, positive quotes, inspirational quotes, depends what you're doing, funny quotes. Um, it's easier if I put something other than just quotes because then I'll end up with quotation marks. Um, but here you go. Here are some funny quotes that you can find. And so you can scroll down and you can see that there's a lot of pre-made things that you're able to use and of course some quote marks some back to school things so all sorts of pre-made stuff that you can use that aren't that are in the graphics section but they're not necessarily like pictures they're just words and so there's a whole bunch of really cool ones those are funny quotes i mean you could do coffee quotes easy so here's some coffee quotes i could probably put school or teacher quotes Yep, and so here are some teacher ones. I could do Christmas, I could do holidays. So there's a lot of stuff in here that if you haven't looked, there's, there's just a ton of pre-made things that you can use. I know a lot of people will go to Creative Fabrica and use some of the pre-made designs on there. If you already have um, Canva, and especially if you have Canva Pro, you probably don't even need to go there. There's a ton of things and they're constantly adding new things and I'm constantly finding new things on Canva. So, I mean, I don't use anything outside of Canva now for my graphics um, because it really does have everything I need and I can edit them however I like. And so you can take any one of these designs, again, add to it, edit it, change it, use it in a larger design, use part of it. Um, if you find something that you like that you just wanna use part of it, I mean, you can always crop it down and just use that one part. So you can always be very, um, What's what am I looking for? You can you can be as creative as you want. Here's one that says teacher mode. And of course it comes up in black. I can always change the color again to whatever I want. So here it says teacher mode. Can't really see it very well. And let's say I just really liked the top part, but I don't want the mode. You know, no problem. I can double clip, uh, click on it and I can just go ahead and if I crop it real tight right there. I can just crop out the mode and now I can just use this teacher, which is a really cool font that you wouldn't normally see. And so I really like that. So I wanted you to be aware that all of these were on here. Now I am gonna go ahead and show you how I did the clipping mask on the one I showed you earlier. Um, I do use Photo P, which I have showed you a couple times before, but I just really like it because it's so quick and it's so easy, it's free. You don't have to create an account. It really is just a couple clicks and so, 
I love it for that. So let's say you wanted to pick any design that you wanted. And as I came down here, I started with this design right here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down. And so here was the basic design that says stay inspired, inspired, never stop creating. And I went ahead and I just added some diamond graphics to it. So I didn't add a lot. You can add as much or as little as you want, but I just decided to throw a couple little flares on there. Now it doesn't matter um, when you're using a clipping mask, what color your design is, because the clipping mask is gonna go over the entire thing and this is just gonna end up being a silhouette. So all you really care is that you have a good silhouette uh, design. So yeah, these are blue, they're not gonna stay blue. This is a photo, so you can use photos or graphics. It really doesn't matter. You're just looking at the silhouette when we do it this way. So if you want to use PhotoP to create this design, all you would do is go ahead and um, go up to share. You're gonna wanna download. Right now, I am on page three, I think. So if I've got multiple pages, I can just select what page I want. So I'm downloading page three. I still want the transparent background. I still want it to be a PNG. So everything that you would normally do, I'm gonna hit download. And so it's just gonna download it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to PhotoP and open it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click over to PhotoP. <clears throat> And so if you type in just photop.com, this is what you're gonna come up with, is this main page right here, PhotoP. And all you have to do is right in the middle of the page, right below PhotoP, it says open from computer. That's what you're gonna wanna click. You click that, it should pull up your downloads, and then you can open what you just downloaded. And it'll take a second, but it'll load it up. And so here's the design that I just made, and it's now open. Now, if I want to do just a clipping mask over it, super easy, all I'm gonna do is add the clipping mask on top. So I'm gonna come to the left-hand corner all the way at the top, it says File. If I click that, I can now do Open in Place. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and jump back really quickly to Canva to show you something. So as I come back to my Canva page and I scroll up, this is the clipping mask that I wanted to use. So this was just a silver sparkle glitter. And so all I did was come up here to elements and I did silver glitter. And so I just kind of scrolled down until I got a silver glitter look that I liked. And again, it doesn't matter which one you pick. It, you know, they all look cool and you don't have to do silver glitter. You can do gold, you can do anything. It doesn't even have to be glitter. It could be literally any kind of clipping mask that you want, anything you want on top of it, you just pick but I went ahead and just picked this silver thing right here. It's just a circle and there's different colors too. I stretched it out so it filled the entire page. And then to lighten it, I came up to edit image and I just played with the brightness. So I wanted it to be a little bit lighter because I wanted it to stand out on a dark background, but that's all I did. And so once I had this, I went ahead and downloaded it just like before. So I'll show you, I don't even need a blank background on this or a transparent background, because I just want to download it. This was page two. And I can hit done and download. And so this is the mask that I'm now going to put over my design. All right, so I'm just gonna jump right back over to PhotoP. And so now I'm going to be overlaying my um, silver glitter on top of this. So when I come up to the top hand corner where it says file, and I scroll down to where it says open in place. So that's only three little bits down, real, real close to the top says open in place. I click that. It's gonna pull up my downloads again. And now I'm just going to download my clipping mask and it's just gonna put it right on top. Now you can see over here, these are your two layers. So you still have the bottom layer, which was your original design and now your clipping mask is on top. And so all you have to do at this point is come up to the top again. It's gonna say layer click on layer, you're gonna go down just a little bit, about halfway, and it's gonna say clipping mask. So clipping mask is what you're gonna to wanna to hit, and when you do that, it's just gonna automatically put that silver right over your design. And so that's it, that's all there is to it. Now we just have to export this. So again, come up to the left-hand corner at the top where it says file. All you have to do is scroll about halfway down to where it says export as and then you bring it over and it says PNG. So you're gonna click that. 
All right, a little box is gonna open. You shouldn't have to mess with any of this because it should be all the original um, designs, uh, all of your original measurements. And so you just have to click save. And there you go, it'll download it. So now I can jump right back over to Canva. And this is where I had uploaded it here. Just to show you, I can add another page and just drag and drop and upload it again. And so there it is as I upload it again. And so there's my design, really easy. Now it looks really good on black. Um, if I wanted to put it on a lighter shirt, like white, it probably wouldn't look as good. So if I came over here and made a white background, now you can't see it as well. So one thing you can do if you want it to pop on different colors would be to put an outline around it, which I did do on the top one. So if I click it, I can now use my photo effects on it. So I can do edit image and I can go to shadows and I can do a glow shadow, which is just an outline. Get rid of the blur, get rid of any transparency. You know, I'm gonna make it kind of big in size, maybe something like that, and then hit apply. So now I've got a little bit of an outline around it. It's gonna make it pop on lighter color shirts. And if you keep it on the dark shirt, you shouldn't be able to see it at all. So if I change my background color back to black, if I print it on a black shirt, you really won't see the outline. It'll just look like this. But if you print it on a light shirt, obviously the outline will show up. And so I like to do that just because it, it, you know, that way I can put it on multiple color shirts and still have it look good. Um, so boom, just like that. So now I could use this design right here and call it my own because nobody else will have it designed quite like this, right? And so I was able to get from this to that. And you can see there's a ton of other ones you can use. There's birthday ones that you can use. You can get very creative with some of the holiday ones. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you can think of a lot of cool creative ways that you can use this. Be sure to trademark check everything because just because there's something up here on Canva that you're allowed to use the graphic doesn't mean that it isn't trademarked if you go to put it on a shirt. So always go ahead and trademark check your quotes if you're going to use them to make sure that they are safe, okay? If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. I will get back to them as quickly as I can. I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. And as always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.